Hi, so I'm just here to demonstrate how to set up an NL52 with a long-term kit. So the kit you can see in front of you, you've got your Peli case for your two batteries, your NL52, your two meter extension cable, a WS15, and then your pole for the enhanced kit that will attach on the side. So the first thing to do is make sure your batteries are connected up. Like so, you just clip in. You can't get the batteries wrong because there's a certain clip that they have to go in. And then we can put our NL52 into the Peli case, plugging it into the power. Put that in there and you can leave that in there for a second. Next, we're going to go through the WS15. So it's in. it can be taken apart into three sections. You can unclip your clips here. You've got your foam, weather protection at the top. The metal bracket at the bottom and then the main body of the inside. You can put that aside for a second. When you get sent out your WS15 you may have this um, adapter in the bottom. You don't need this for the long term kit, this is for a tripod so you can take that out and get rid of it but make sure you leave the screws in as you need them to attach the frame to the pole later. Next, what we're gonna do is attach the frame of the WS15 onto the enhanced pole. There's two things you need to make sure when doing this. That one, that you don't have a gap underneath that water can get into the case. And two, that it's not flush at the top because you need a gap to be able to attach this plastic collar when you come to the next step of assembling the WS15. So you need to make sure that it can sit in because if it's flush, it will, there's nowhere for it to go. So if you can leave a little gap like that, and then use a the screwdriver to tighten up the screws. When you've got all three of the screws tightened and it's on securely, next thing to do is to feed the microphone extension cable through the pole, like so. So the fat end first, as that goes into the 52. Just feed it through. And it will just pop out the end like that. Once you've got your cable into the pole, you can move your 52 out of the way and just rest it in the case. Next thing we're going to do is feed the cable through the hole on the side of the case. So just drop it in, give it a little push, and it will just pop through the other end. So you can pull that tight and then screw the pole in. So now you've got both ends of the cable exposed. What we're going to do is take the microphone off the NL52. How you do this is just a screw neck at the top of the case. So unscrew that. Once it's undone, like so, just give it a little pull. So that will pop off. You can leave that on the side. Leave the WS10 on the microphone as it's quite a delicate bit of equipment. And you don't want it to drop it and it get damaged. So you can leave that on there for extra protection. So now we're going to put the extension cable onto the NL52. So what you can see is there's a little gap here that needs to be lined up with a little lug in the 52. So push it in, turn it until you feel it click, push that then in and then tighten up the, the neck. Just do this finger tight, it doesn't need to be turned really tight on there. So that's one end done. Once you've pulled that excess cable into the Peli case, now the main body of the windshield, what we have is this plastic collar. Now this is important, you need to make sure that you put it the right way up. So if you can see on here it's got writing. If you can read the writing on the collar then you know it's the correct way. And also you want the, the tallest part to be sticking up. So once you've got this the right way up, what you can do is feed that onto the extension cable like so where there's the gap and push it up to the top. You can leave that like so. Grab the microphone, take the WS10 off and then attach the microphone to the extension cable. Like so. Once you have the white collar attached to the extension cable and tight to the microphone, you just need to then push the microphone onto the frame of the WS15 so it's all sitting on top, like so. When the microphone is sitting on top of the pole with the plastic collar on, it's a great time to calibrate the microphone using your NC74 or 75 like I have in my hand here. To turn the NC75 on, all you have to do is press the power button. You'll see that it lights up, that tells you that it's on. With regards to the meter, all you need to do is press the cow button on the meter and that will take you to the acoustic calibration option. Another pointer is when you finish calibrating, make sure you 
put on the WS15 windshield correction. Next, we're going to attach the main part of the WS15 onto the frame of the WS15 to cover the microphone. So you can take the foam out so you can see the microphone at the top. Just put it over and slide it through. A good tail to make sure you've got the white collar the right way around is that the full microphone is sticking out of the top. So then what we can do is just screw that onto the frame. Again, this is just finger tight. Like so. So you can see the full microphone sticking out. Put the phone back over the microphone. Grab the main part, main phone, and push that back over, making sure that you're lining up the gaps with the clips. And once they're in line, just pull them up until they're tight and push them in to clip the WS15 phone onto the frame. But once you've got your WS15 all attached to the pole and you're happy that there's no gap, and it's all attached securely. You've got your lead in the case. All you need to do is make sure you've got power to the NL52, turn it on, make sure you're happy with your settings, and then you're good to go with your long-term kit. This can also be used with the live Enviro uh, system. So it's the same other than, rather than a foam insert, you have a metal plate where you have the battery and the modem on, but the same principle for setting up the enhanced kit will apply.